Hey guys, welcome to a new video. This is Max from Server 133. So in today's video, I'll be speaking more in detail about the Arctic Barbarian invasion. So in the past video, I spoke about uh, the event and you know, basic understanding of the event. But in this video, I'm going to be covering more in details about how to make points in the Arctic Barbarian event. So first, let me just reach to one of these buildings. Now I want you to observe this building. Okay, so the total power of this building is 56.3 million. So that means uh, it has troops, not too many, but it has troops. There's a level 4 building. Okay, now here is the important part which is the buffs. All troops attack 400%, all troops HP 400%, all troops defense 400%. So there is no general on the wall when it comes to the barbarian castle, but they are as as good as a as a normal keep that has 400 percent buff so how do you defeat it first you have to make sure that you scout the building and whenever you scout the building you will be able to see what are the troop types in there so this is uh, a level 4 barbarian keep i don't know the power of this but the buff is 508 percent and the troop types are t11 848,000 of uh, ra ground, range, mounted and 707,000 of siege which means 3.2 million troops. Now anyone who has T12s and T13s and a total of 1.5 million march capacity that is even a K33 or a K44 with a K34 with a march size buff or a K35 with a full level 35 rally spot can defeat this with negligible losses now the first part is defeating this but after you defeat it what is the most important part that can help you score the maximum points for your alliance for your team so number one is you need to understand the highest power required for occupying so different building levels will have different highest power required for some of the building the highest power required for occupying is 396 million and the lowest power required for occupying is 132 million. I would recommend avoid buildings like these. Why? Let me explain you. So let's say if you are occupying this building, okay, my team has already defeated this building and I'm occupying this building. This is my march power of 255 million. So I'll be only able to make points equivalent to 255 million, not more than that. If I use a March size buff, my March power will be increased by another 125. That would be 350 plus 355 plus 25, 380 million. So after I use March size buff and the March gear and the general with the highest uh, March capacity, I'll be able to have a power of 380 or a 385 million, which is still less than 396. That means I'll still not be able to score the maximum points. Number one. Number two. Your team members, including yourself and everybody, has total 10 attack chances in a day. So if you want to beat a building of this level, you will need four people or five people to be combining their rallies. You may be able to beat this building with a, mid, with a math size buff. But then again, Three people will be using one of their chances each. And the highest points that you can get with a full march is somewhat 11,000 points. With a full power of 400 million march, which is only possible if your keep level is 40, your march size is fully researched, your uh, rally spot is level 40. Only then you can go up to 400 or a 430, 440 million power, which I'm not 100% sure about. But... To cross the capacity of 396, you need to have a full-fledged keep of level 39 or 40 to get the maximum points out of a 1 billion building. Your entire alliance will not be able to make the points because the lowest power required for occupying is 132 million. Now let me tell you, so let's say if this is, if I am a keep 35 and my rally capacity or my march capacity is... 1.5 million troops. So that's somewhat this much. 
So with an entire march of 1.5 million troops, I have a power of 193 million. But I'm a K-35 who does not have T-14s, all of them. So my march of 1.5 million will be less than 132 million power. You see this power, 128 million power, that is my current march power if I'm a K-35 with a full rally spot and only T-13 troops. So once again, a K-35 with full rally spot with uh, T-13 troops, no march size buff, has a march capacity of 128 million. So with 128 million, if I try to occupy this building, I will not be able to make points. So it makes no sense defeating this building because even if you defeat this building, not everybody in your alliance will be able to make points. That's the first biggest loss of defeating big buildings. However, however, if you have already used up a March size buff, you have got four people all sitting around, everybody with a March size buff. So you all can, you know, gather around and do the needful. But then again, wasting March size buff, not really recommended. But then it is up to you and your team. If you guys have a lot of March size buff and uh, you can get a, a march of 350, 360 million easily, then you will be able to fetch 10,000 points per second. And this will only be beneficial if you have the team capable to rally such four buildings and reinforce all these four buildings at the same time with a full march. So that means you need to have way too many troops, like 8 million of T-14s. So don't get into that maths. Avoid these buildings because they are not worth for you. You cannot score the maximum points. This building is a 131 million power building. Has a 508% buff. You can defeat this. A K-35 can defeat this without any challenge. Highest power required for occupying is 52 million. So that means if I want to occupy this building, I'll have to have 52 million. So allow me a second, let me check if I can use my friend's account, which is on my PC. And see if I can get it. So I'm on my PC currently. I'll be operating his keep. That's him over there. Checking the report on his account and this one looks like a complete. Yeah, so this is a balanced building. It, it is uh, to be hit by a range march. If you hit it with a range march, you will have uh, negligible or nominal losses and you will even be able to win it. So I'm going to attack it with a range march on my friend's account and the preset is set. There you see the attack is going. He has defeated it. Now I'm going to port here. And I'm going to occupy it with less than 17 million power. Okay. Now that's difficult for me to go below <laughs> in small power. I think, yep, this is okay. 14 million power is okay. It's still less than 17 million power. You see the building is being occupied. But there is no points being showed over here. But let's occupy the building with more than 52 million power, 255 million power. Okay. So I'm going to be occupying this building with 255 million power. You guys can see I'm making 3,186 points in this building. All right. Now that is with a total power of Two for, okay, 256. Now that 256 is because of the general power. So your general power does not count, your troop power counts. I forgot to clear this. Your general power does not count, your troop power counts. So in this case, the troop power is 249 million. Now, I am making 3186 points only with the 49 million troop power. 
Now I'm going to make the true power of exactly 52 million. So I'll be doing it without the general. I have to reduce this a bit. Okay, 51.6, close. Now I'm sending exact 51.6 million power to the building. I'm getting 3,159 points. You see 52 is the capacity. I have sent 51. I'm getting 3,159 points. I'll increase this to a full march. Three thousand one hundred eighty six. So it's that's the highest you can make out of this this specific building as the capacity is highest power required for occupying is fifty two point one. Now why is this point necessary? A lot of times it will happen that there's one player with a very big march. He will go and occupy the building, but his embassy is small. Now because of his embassy being small, rest of the players will not be able to fill up the building or will not be able to occupy the barbarian castle. Now, how is this a loss? It's a very big loss because everybody wants to make points. Now, when we talk about the scoring, these are the individual points. These are your personal points, your ranking, your points. Based on your points, you will be getting rewards. So the rank one guy will be getting 300,000 gems, 200,000 alliance honor, 200,000 alliance points, then speed ups, dragon fragment, Tactic scroll, treasure box. So rank 2, rank 3, everybody will be getting some of the other rewards. But at the same time, these are the individual monarch score rewards, which is basically when you unlock a certain threshold of points or a certain, you know, scoring, you'll be able to get these chests. Now let me show you the rewards that are involved in this. In fact, you can go and look at them by yourself. The last level gives you 40,000 gems, 15 treasure box, refining stones, healing speed ups, senior resource chest, 35,000, 30,000. Okay, guys, I'm not going to do the math because I'm very bad at it. As a lot of you people who have been subscribed to my channel for a long while, you know that I'm very poor in maths. But an estimate amount of gems you can get out of this event and all these boxes is somewhat 200,000. You can make the score in one single day. What you actually need to do is just find the buildings that can be defeated single handed. Like how my friend Hafizdor's account could defeat this building in one single attack. See, this is his report in the Alliance chat. He defeated this in one single attack with a 1.4 million power troops. Sorry, 1.4 million troops. Uh, we'll also look at his report. He has got range troops. T12 and T13. Uh, layers are there, 1000 each. Nothing else. So, bit of layers are there. Proper troops is there. The general is good. The general is 4.9 million Electra, which means his, his account is good. His buffs, let's look at his buffs. His buffs are 900% range troop attack, which is the reason he could defeat this building easily. So after defeating the building, everybody occupied the building. Now everybody in the alliance is making points. So this is what you do. Everybody has 10 chances in, with them. You find the building that you can defeat by yourself, single-handed, without a rally, without wasting others' chances or without consuming others' chances. There are buildings with poor buffs. Let me see if I can find a report for you that has poor buffs. This building has big buffs, 940%. This building has 940%. This is level 4. Nine sixty seven percent I think I soloed this building. 986. Okay, yeah, this is something that you can refer. So there is a 500 million power building, 502 million power building. The buffs of this is 580%. And my mounted troop buff is 1000%. 
Now let me tell you, my buffs are the worst. I haven't invested much on my gear refining because I don't have too many refining stones or too many gems or too many, uh, too much of gold. It's like I have one thing, I don't have the other thing. And because I don't spend much in the game, it's almost next to impossible to get so many refines. I do invest a little bit. Majorly is what is coming from my subscribers. That is you people who have been sending me gifts. I really appreciate that. And because of which I have been able to work on my gears and stuff and get all these premium gears out of the uh, civilization equipment. But coming back to the buff, with an average buff of 1000%, I'm able to beat a 580% building buff. And uh, as I can defeat this set of troops, my entire team reinforces this. And my entire team makes points. So I just am using one single chance and because my embassy can fit in 11 million troops, people with big troops can just simply jump in, reinforce and start making points. Now coming back to the scoring, it is important for every individual to make a 500,000 points target. Sorry, is it 500,000 or is it? Uh, yeah, 500,000, 5 million, 500 million. It's million, not thousand, it's million. So it's important for everybody to make 500 million points is because of the rewards you are getting when you complete this task. This is like basically get unlocking the achievements in the SVS or unlocking the daily competition event, monarch event. It's very similar to that. You need to complete the level to get the best rewards for your account. And then finally, Depending on the top ranking player, the one with the highest score will have better rewards. So the reason I am pushing is, I am not sure if I will be able to beat him, whose score is still uh, one third more than mine. It's like I am just two third of his current score and I only have till tomorrow's day because then it's going to be SVS. So another 24 hours to 28 hours on me, after that I cannot do this anymore because of the SVS. So there's no chance that I can defeat his top score because he occasionally invest money in the account and then he'll get the barbarian token and if he opens the token that'll give him a lot of points itself. So there's no way I can defeat his maximum score. But what I can do is at least I can try and uh, get my alliance scores better than his which is currently equivalent, both the alliances are on you know same score right now, 3.9 billion, 3.9 billion. But if my alliance wins, there is uh, rewards for alliance scores as well. Let me see. These are the rewards. Now, you guys might be thinking these rewards are like, okay, but guys, don't forget treasure boxes, tactic scrolls, dragon fragments. These are important stuff. The gems, the alliance honor, the alliance points, it's okay. Not really a big deal. You can get them from, you know, maybe going to relic or just doing some boss rallies. You can get all of these. But dragon source fragment, that's expensive. That's pretty much only available for people who are playing battlefield and stuff like that. But the fun part is this is given to everybody in the alliance. So if your alliance has got 120 people in them or 130 people in them, every single individual will be getting this right so make the best of such events try to squeeze everything out of the game let me tell you one thing about Evany. Evany wants you to enjoy the offers and the benefits that they're giving through the events but then some people just want to get better and ahead of others because of which they spend money Evany is not saying that guys you have to buy our packages to get better it's just up to you they are giving everything from the game. It's just that you need to have the patience. If you guys have got any questions, you can reach out to me. Simply just go to this part over here, friends, and you can just type my name. I may not be able to accept your friend request because I have got so many people pending who have their questions and I have to answer each and every one one at a time. So it's difficult. But then of course, I make sure that I reply to the mail. Sometimes I reply instantly. Sometimes I don't reply for an entire uh, day. You have to be patient with that as well. So guys, I conclude this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And all the best. I hope that uh, the Arctic Barbarian Invasion comes back in the future where you guys uh, can get into the top 5 
and if it really helps do spread the video to others and see you guys hope you all have a wonderful svs ahead take care everybody this is max from so 133 signing out